How can there be so many Weedles and not a single Caterpie? Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Get Dave. We're playing Galactic Civilizations 3 Mercenaries Edition. We uh, didn't hire any mercenaries when we had the chance, but, you know, that's not worth changing the title of the expansion pack over. I uh, only recorded the one, so we've just reloaded. Apparently, this is, I was pretty sure this was defended, but we got a ship. We have a pretty swanky looking gunboat. Unfortunately, it's got to go home now because it's outside of its range. What to do? There could be more living planets over here. Sometimes the pathing is really cool with uh, going into enemy territory, which you don't want to be too uh, too fast and loose with that. Also, I'm going to make a lot of accidental panning mistakes. I've been spending a lot of time in Blender these days, and the control scheme's a little different. Hello. Would you consider... Sorry for the chair creaks. No. Why would I give you 150? Oh, we're having such a hard time. Uh-oh. I gotta get something ready here. We're gonna lose audio for a moment. All right. Colonize planet. Welcome to the planet. Brawler. To uh, an old sub of mine. He's a baller. All right. It talks to us. Planet shouldn't do that. Ugh. Well, you don't have to listen. Okay. <laughs> it's an ant. Cool, we can learn a lot about dill. Dirt. Interesting, we can torture it. Come see the magical talking planet. I will just take the research bonus, thank you. This place also has the social production buff. Man, bummer layout. Also, sees the color of blood. Plus one to manufacturing. Okay, we'll do that. Plus two to approval. We've got the research bonus here. It would be a shame not to take advantage of it, although this planet's layout is so terrible. This is a good chance that could be terraformed someday, though. Well, we'll get them started with this for now. Get Dave Dia. Earth and Mars. Both could probably benefit from a name change, if you ask me. Not in the game, in real life. Alright. And exciting news! Right. That explains why we were able to talk to people, unless they also had... stuff. Manufacturing capital, I think I'm going to go for, and on Earth, no less. Alright. This is going to do our best bet. This is going to be our best bet at expanding our borders and still getting both resources. put in a sweet mining ring, and its base stats are so good that it'll be okay without any upgrades for a while. Now we've got some pretty cool stuff. I just need to jog my memory. Not with that, I want the ideology tab. There we go. We have an awkward situation here. I can get 10 benevolent points, possibly, if I colonize, but this is a kind of terrible planet. We'll move my colony ship next to it. 
The reason it's a problem is that, that will allow me to reveal a class 10 planet and I won't have a colony ship and I don't have money. Well, let's talk to people. We might be able to make something good happen here. Do you want to do you want trade stuff? I have no tech that they would be interested in. Oh, all right, we're not in a strong trading position. That's fine. How are we even stacking up? Not well. Well, let's see how we can do with humanity. Looks like a jolly fellow. Can I top you up? Jeez. Got a bunch of cheapskates considering we have a diplomatic bonus here. crazy that I'm still doing so poorly in social manufacturing, but anyway. Alright, now we're laughing. Operation Get Another Bonus Planet can commence. Still want to take a stab at seeing if we can... Pirates. Want to take a stab if we can find another planet yet. Um, the freighter has some diplomatic bonuses. You can actually just wait, I think. If we don't see what we're looking for, this is your one chance. All right, I'm gonna say we're doing it. Sovereign one, I don't think so. Uh, I'll throw that one in there. Have a nice day. Also, congratulations on having a precursor, precursor bioreplicator on your planet. Why would they put it on the ocean floor? Okay. Whoa. That's a really good benefit. I accept. Plus 5% food to all colonies. Like, that's a population bonus, also known as making it rain. Super expensive. Don't want to build it here, unless it can only be built here, in which case, fine, I'll do it. Okay, we could build it somewhere else. Ideally, we want it somewhere we can really take advantage of the really high population, and that means, you know, having more tiles. I think we just have to wait for now. Be 
cool to have Promethean Reserve there. I think we'll try sneaking that in as well. Okay, now what to do with the Trayvon system. Could make everybody really happy to be there. I think we're gonna try to lock down food. And money. And then we'll t sneak a food one in there, which should be coming kind of soon. I'm not researching in that neck of the woods right now, but... Alright. Definitely going for outreach here. We got our class 10 planet. Ripe for the taking. It'd be kind of nice to blow this thing up. The Exus, they're a minor faction as well. Where do they come from, I wonder? Some things to contemplate. Kind of tempting to send them, you know, down where there's actually stuff to survey. But, I mean, he's so far out of position now. Alright, and you, we're just going to automate the exploration now. Something, like, in theory, I really like doing it. Oh. No, we're not giving you money. We're just going to take a look at the old diplomacy situation here. Okay, I've been focusing on the economy, and we have been knocking that out of the park. Unless they're talking money in terms instead of production. I don't know why it's so terrible. Well, things are not perfect. A new market! Nice to meet you, Iridium Corporation. Okay. We've got the manufacturing capital option. That should help us catch up on social manufacturing, I hope. I'm actually going to zip down here. Yeah, we can get it in four turns. That's going to be more beneficial than just about anything. All right, welcome to... Uh... The Wibble system. All right, plus 25 is pretty serious business here. Okay. Okay, so I would not get it. I would not get a Hypergate core component, which I could put on ships, but that costs money, plus 15% for free for everyone. Like, the game's been giving me mostly easy moral dilemmas, I would say. Hmm, what do we got here? Tourism? Wealth? This might be our tax center, I think. Hmm.
Also, I'm about to be filled with remorse that my Durantium refinery is now not where I exactly want to have it. We will wait and see, I think. There will be a nice production boost here soon. Okay, Wibble, yeah, they're going to be making me money. Plus two to wealth. We also need people here. And they need a manufacturing base just to get the ball rolling, I think. There we go. If I had to guess, so I mean, like in theory, I should be working on tourism here, but this is more likely to join up with something eventually. Yeah, we're gonna cancel that, throw the factories over here. And go with our awesome bioreplicator. There we go. And then hope for the best when our uh, soil enrichment comes through. Yeah, that would be kind of nice. This is what I'm really hoping for. That would also be kind of nice. If I start to diversify these things. It's really good at the end, but not until then. for our culture victory. 150 research points is also really tempting. These next two are really good though, so we'll try to hold out. We could have gone a long way. Whoops, you're auto exploring. I should, I should stop meddling with you. Everybody hates a boss that micromanages. But good for the game for making me want to at least micromanage the exploration. No. Well, they didn't say heavily defended. Oh, jeez, I don't know what to do. Yeah, he can't meet up with him either. All right, we've got some pretty good space under our control, though. Like, if this is all I have to work with, I'm okay with that if I can just survive. I'm afraid someone's gonna declare war on me. The nice thing about... Like, I can't retreat. If I say yes, it's happening no matter what. can't afford to take a risk like that right now. Anyway, I hope nobody picks on us. In Galsiv games, though, invasion tech usually pushes off the war era a bit. But, you know, like, we'll trade with you or something. We're, we're buddies. Man, I have nothing they want. That is not fair.
our technology is so terrible that we don't really have anything we can do with that. Yeah, we're only ahead of the minor sieve, I think. Yep. But they have a ton of money. Can I have some of your money? I'll give them anything. I mean, hopefully they don't flip it or something like that, but... Everybody seems generally favorable towards me. Okay, we've improved our social manufacturing, which is a big thing. Our military power is okay. So getting diplomacy boosts can be very, very nice. I don't know what the difference between diplomacy bonus plus one and diplomacy trade value plus 10% is. Because I thought the former basically translates to the latter. Oh my goodness, moves plus one. These are all really, really good techs. And now, every time I say something like that, you might be like, oh, Dave's stupid. He then chose not to research any of them. But if I can trade for one, that simplifies the decision. If I happen to research the same one as everybody else, then we've got a problem. Raw production plus one. Or we get better growth. We'll go for accelerated growth because we have a lot of planets on the go. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. I'm gonna end this video here and the next one, you know, hopefully we, uh, strengthen the core of the empire a bit that's what i hope i'll see you all in the next episode thanks for watching